In some respects, the school district budget fight has been one big giant game. First, the school district needed more money for kindergarten, and then kindergarten was saved. But now they need $100 million for who knows what. And as the game continues, taxpayers are left looking like giant pawns. The Mets scramble to figure out how to close the Philadelphia School District's massive $629 million deficit. has been a three-ring circus starring Mayor Nutter, City Council, and Superintendent Arlene Ackerman. None of the players in this tragic comedy have displayed profiles and courage. We're going to get you the money. Where is the money? If anything, the budget crisis has destroyed the public's trust <laughs> and confidence in the city's leadership. Enough is enough! What do you think of Superintendent Ackerman and the job she's doing? <laughs> Perhaps the biggest loser has been Ackerman. I want my job for life back. <laughs> what do you think about her? Uh, I'll take the fifth on that one. <laughs> this new beginning is about everybody coming together. Now her mismanagement of the sure district's finances. Never, I've always had an outstanding relationship with him. Combined with the failure to clue the mayor in on her plan to save all day kindergarten. Has left her with few supporters. So do you, do you think her time's finally up? Uh, I think we need to change, yeah. Phil Goldsmith served as interim CEO of the school district under Mayor Street. You got a problem. He said the budget shortfall is not simply a case of reduced federal and state funding. Ooh, they drove that car 85 miles an hour and they didn't care about the cliff. But an issue of mismanagement and accountability. One of the problems is that by the time she's got to go to council and ask for help, she's got more self-inflicted wounds in her body. Yeah. Right? Because, you know, South Philly High School and the contracting and IRS. IRS. I need to mention IRS. I mean, all that stuff. So she has no credibility. The budget cuts mean layoffs for many school teachers who are mad at Dr. Ackerman for creating this school deficit in the first place. I think it's still ego, and I think it's still about power. Violet Simmons Lawson, a school aide, was called a hero for her role in stopping attacks on Asian students at South Philadelphia High. Well, you jumped in and broke up two two big fights in the middle of that day, right? Absolutely. And if it was another one, if I had the strength, I probably would have broke up another one <laughs> because it's called saving souls. And now what happened at the end of the school year to you? After well, that? I'm... How'd you get rewarded? I'm rewarded by being laid off last year and laid off again this year and other teachers. So many people are laid off this year. In fact, more than 3,000 school district employees are getting pink slips this year. I think that the cuts that she's um, made and given uh, lucrative bonuses to administrators. I feel like she's preparing our children in Philadelphia for nothing but failure. One of the people asking hard questions about the school district's budget has been city controller Alan Butkovitz. So we decided to go inside and talk to him. The fact is there has to be a balance between sustainability, affordability, sustainability, and the desired objectives that are most important. Ultimately, who should be held accountable for these decisions? Well, I mean, the school super, superintendent Ackerman, the SRC, are primarily uh, responsible for that. They're the leadership of the school district. I don't know the number, but... The fact is that they have not covered themselves with glory uh, in the past a year or two. Well, it's after five o'clock now and she said she was going to call me back this morning. We tried to speak with the superintendent, but her spokeswoman said she was in meetings all day with city hall leaders. Okay, I never heard back. So what are you trying to Meanwhile, teachers, students, and parents held a rally outside the school district's offices, urging more money for the schools. Enough is enough! Supporters poked fun at the SRC's lack of leadership. So that we can be heard. And noted Ackerman's absence. That's not job creation if you ask me. But there in the crowd was Simmons Lawson, holding a certificate Ackerman gave her for her work at South Philly High. So often you hear that the administrators talk about, oh, it's all about the children, but often yes, times it doesn't seem like it is. Though. No, it's about the Benjamins. <laughs> well, does she make more than the president or does she make more than the mayor? She definitely makes more than the mayor. Oh, the you must the mayor. be doing something right, Dr. Ackerman. I hope so. But what I see is not for the children or the parents. It's not going to help their lives as they become adults. And, you know, with the job situation we have already also. In Philadelphia, Paul Davies, Fox 29 News.